Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. We're in beautiful Detroit, where it's sunny and 75 and a little bit windy. We have some exciting news. Self-driving startup Aurora reaches a new milestone and says its autonomous self-driving system is, quote, feature complete. Now, this means that it's ready for the commercial side. Our director of innovation, mobility and tech, Pete Bigelow, says, and that essentially means that the vehicle and the self-driving system, I should say, has learned what it needs to learn uh, from a technology perspective in order to conduct the operations within a, a certain geography or within certain conditions that, that the company envisions for its commercial operations. Since August, the startup has collaborated on a pilot project with U.S. Border Patrol. The project explores how self-driving trucks navigate border immigration checkpoints. Aurora is working with U.S. Border Patrol in a, a first-of-its-kind partnership to kind of evaluate how the best practices and procedures and protocols to, to make that a seamless experience. Aurora's trucks must pass through inland border checkpoints that the U.S. Border Patrol has set up, primarily in the southwest, but also the north. There are no international border crossings. The checkpoints are used to kind of look for illegal immigration, smuggling, uh, terrorism, those sorts of things. So trucks have to go through these checkpoints. They're located 25 to 100 miles from the nation's southern and northern borders. And Aurora's first planned route is between Dallas and Houston. But future routes along Interstate 10 contain at least two checkpoints. Bigelow says that they're kind of like a toll booth, except they may have to stop for an inspection uh, or they might just get waved through. The collaboration is all about building a scalable program. Officials say the pilot project is one way the company is preparing for commercial service that goes beyond building the self-driving tech itself. And according to Aurora, they've identified these other operational challenges uh, and that they are working with U.S. Border Patrol to address them. So they're kind of you're developing the technology, you're addressing the other aspects uh, of that are needed to make a self-driving business actually work. The company is on track to launch a self-driving truck business by the end of 2024. Thanks so much, Pete, for taking the time to speak with us. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Autonews TV and online at autonews.com. For updates from our reporters all day, every day. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Laura Harris, Automotive News.